I love Avila, hands down the best we can get away from Madrid. And you will like the city the moment I step out of the train station. Well, I am exaggerating a little bit, but I really wowed when I saw the Malaya, the walls of Avila. If I lived in the castle, I would customize my walls to look just like this. And inside the walls is the old town of Avila. The Avila Cathedral is considered the first Gothic cathedral in Spain, and its apse is actually part of the city walls. Sadly, the cathedral was closed from 3 to 5, so we didn't get to visit inside the cathedral when we arrived. And then we learned that the walls were also closed from 3 to 5, so we decided to have lunch first. This is the Moraya, oh my god, it's so pretty here. And can you feel the color scheme? Everything is so bright. We're gonna have some uh, lunch first because they open at 5. They are having a break from 3 to 5, so we cannot really do anything now. This is the Basilica of St. Vicente. So this is sort of like the Plaza Mayor of Avila, but much smaller than the Plaza Mayor in Madrid. And they've got the same arcade, which I love. So it says online here that every Friday there is street market here on this plaza, but today is Wednesday. So if you visit here, maybe you choose a Friday. Now we are heading to the Mirador Observatory of Avila. We have to go across the river. I have to say this is a lot smaller than I thought. And it's not as high as I thought. But let's go up and take a look at the view. It is now 5.30, so we are gonna go claim the Muraya now. So we're gonna go this way. I think the entrance is somewhere over there. We're now going across the river. Almost ready to climb up the Moraya, but going to buy some water first. Scan the QR code on the receipt and choose your language. So the most important things about climbing up the walls is that it is a one-way tour. 
Once you enter the Malayas from the ticket office, there is no going back, and there are only two exits along the way. If you miss the first exit, you have to keep walking until you arrive at the second one. So you want to plan the route well. We are heading to the train station. We're heading back to Madrid. So a few thoughts. Um, we definitely need at least one whole day or maybe stay over for a night. We arrived too late. We arrived at around 2.30. We didn't get to get inside of any cathedral. So if you don't want to rush things, definitely come here earlier. We also made some tactic mistakes. There were two exits, so you have to choose one of the exits to go out. Actually, one of the exits is really, really close to, to the Mirador. So we should have climbed up the Muraya first and exited from the further one and then go to the Mirador. But we got things all wrong, so we have to walk all the way back now. 